The Western and Southern Financial Group Masters is always a special tournament with around 150,000 fans attending over the week. This year it's got even better. $10 million has been spent to upgrade the main stand and build new locker rooms, a luxurious players lounge, dining facilities and gym. It's an innovation that all the players approve of. Well, it's great. Um, you know, I'm, I'm real excited to see the new facility here for a couple of reasons. You know, uh, one, it's just it's just nice to, to be in a facility like this. I mean, uh, it, it's a, it's just great from the restaurant to the lounge to, to everything. You got a lot of space. And, and two, probably the more important thing is that it. It establishes that Cincinnati wants to have tennis at the highest level for a very long time, even after I'm done. So uh, that's, uh, that's probably the most exciting part about it. I was uh, happy to see the innovations in the players' restaurant and players' lounge and uh, great facility, I have to say. Any tournament can improve, and it's good to see that uh, this tournament uh, cares about, uh, about players and cares about what they, what they want and what they like, what they dislike. And, this is good, let's, let's uh, try to, to improve on, uh, in the future as well. It's obviously very different to New York City, let's say. We're working here with a much smaller town next to it, and I think the players really enjoy that, you know, to get, get away from it all a little bit, that the focus is purely on tennis, and also the tennis fans are very knowledgeable. And uh, now with a new facility, I think it's wonderful. The players are very happy from what I've heard. Um, I saw a little bit, which has been all great so far, all positive and we're excited about the, uh, about the next years to come. Tennis has a big history in Cincinnati, with the first tennis court in the city being built in 1878. The tournament here is one of the oldest and most prestigious on the circuit. According to local lad and former ATP player Craig Boynton, Cincinnati is a true tennis town. I would say that, that Cincinnati is one of the, uh, the strongest tennis cities in the US by far. The indoor courts, there's, there's 10, 12 indoor courts here. Uh, so it's a sport, A, that you can play for a lifetime, and B, anything you can play, because it does get cold here. If you can play it through the winter, uh, I think people are going to gravitate towards something that they can do year round. And you haven't seen the last of the new developments in Cincinnati's big week of tennis. The tournament is certainly not resting on its laurels. Next year it's going to be a men's and women's event, uh, so as, as this um, tournament grows, they're, they're growing also in the fan base and also growing the actual facility. Um, and, and so it just solidifies that this week is going to be one of the strongest weeks on the calendar. The players and fans are all in agreement. The future is looking bright for the Western and Southern Financial Group Masters.